Yay, what's up again? So we're up to part 4H of the grade 6 hardest math problems. Let's show you work version. Uh, check out the link. Check out my email. With that in mind, we're going to jump right into this. <clears throat> okay, I believe this is the last question of this, this uh, set of questions. Uh, a factory adds three red drops. I'll use RD for red drops and two blue drops of coloring to white paint to make, I'm going to kind of make this a sum, but it's not a sum, to make a pint of purple. Okay, so awesome. So we're up to here. The factory will make 50 gallons of this. So somehow it seems we need to do a conversion because this is a pint. We need to get to gallons. Or we need to map the gallons to pints. So let's see where the rest of this is going. How many drops of red and blue coloring will the factory need? So I'm left asking, do they mean in total or separately? Seems to me if we get the total, uh, we have to figure that out. So let's take a peek at the answer. Uh, just so we kind of know what we're doing. So that's it. Red is distinct from blue. Okay, so we just need the total number of drops uh, in the 50 gallon batch. So let me just reread this one more time to make sure my brain is in the right place. Uh, a factory adds three drops of red and two drops of blue to white paint to make a pint of purple paint. The factory will make 50 gallons of this purple paint. How many drops of coloring will the factory need in the 50 gallon batch of Purple paint. Okay, yeah. All right, so it seems we need to do a conversion from, again, either pints to gallons or gallons to pints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to black out the screen and bring up the conversions for you guys. Uh, give me two seconds. And it's blurry. Okay, wait, what's going on? Okay, there we go. All right, so all of you guys should know this already, but some things you use give you these reference sheets. Um, this I'm use this. These questions are from an exam, so this is provided to grade six students. Um, some of you have this; you can use it for homework. Uh, some of you, your teacher gives it to you on your rather rather exams, or it's on the board during classes. Uh, this is also on the back of many black and white composition notebooks. So anyway, we need to get pints. So what we're going to do is we have one gallon. And we can't go directly to it. So we're going to um, bring it to quarts first. So what we want to do is multiply it, right? So one gallon, we want to put that at the bottom, is the four quarts. Because what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out the actual unit and leave the number. So I'm crossing out the gallon there. That cancels the gallon on the denominator. So now I'm left with this quartz. I no longer have gallons. So at this point, I can apply this rule. Uh, and we're going to work the same way. One quart, because we want those quarts to cancel, is what? Two pints. Okay, the quarts cancel. So we're left with no units left except for the pints here. Then we have one times four times two, so we get eight, okay? Eight pints, all right? So that means one gallon is eight pints. So give me another second. I'm gonna black out the screen one more time and bring back the original um, problem. Uh, it's popped up for some reason, so let me try to shrink that down. That's not the wrong page even. <clears throat> okay, give it a second. That's the previous example we just did. Okay, so it's telling us that um, one gallon is equal to eight pints. Okay, we can also write that as one gallon is to 
eight pints, depending on what we're doing here. Okay, so this 50 gallons, right? 50 gallons is going to equal how many pints? So we can use the cross product, right? So 8 times 50 is equal to 1 times x, or just x. Okay, we get 400 is equal to x. 400 watt. Okay, this is going to be 400 pints. Okay, since 3 red drops to a pint, right? Then how many red drops to 400 pints? You can probably already see already, but if we do the cross product here, uh, we get x is equal to 3 times 400. And that's equal to uh, 1,200. Okay, we can do the same thing with the blue. There's two blue drops to a pint. So how many blue drops are there to 400 pints? We can do the same thing. X is equal to 2 times 400. Or 800. They're not asking us to add this up and get 2,000. That's not what they're asking for. Okay, so that's not what we're doing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, we could have done, did the conversion the other way. We kind of converted um, uh, pints into gallons, right? So our original thing was this here. We could have done it that way as well. Um, I'll leave that as an exercise to you guys to do. Uh, but that's this is one way to do it, and that is what we got so far. All right. So subscribe, like, live long and prosper. Bye. Okay, actually, I realize I should probably just add on to here, so that's what I'm going to do. Let me change the color of this. Let's actually do it that other way. Uh, let's use red. So, if three red drops is to a pint, right? <coughs> And we're going to do it per gallon. How many red drops is to the eight pints? Okay, so basically we're doing how many red drops to a gallon, right? And then after we get that, we're going to multiply it by 50. So we do the cross product. So instead of the question mark, we use an X. So we get X is equal to 3 times 8. And that's equal to 24. 24 watt. Okay, that means there's 24 red drops for 8 pints. Okay, there's 50 gallons. 50 ga one gallon was 8 pints. We need to multiply this by 50 then. Okay, so 24 times 50. Okay, that's 1,200. That's the 1,200 we got before. Okay, you guys should kind of be able to do these things here, but we can go on the side and do it. 24 times 50. Okay. 0, 5 times 4 is 20, 0, 2, 5, 10, 1,200. We can do it backwards to double check it, just in case you didn't know. It was uh, that case, first of all. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times that is ten, uh, 20. Okay, that's 0. That's 10. And we get 1,200. Okay, that's the red dots. So now we can do the same thing for the blue dots. Set it up the same way. There's two blue dots. Um, per pint. Okay, so what we're trying to do is figure out how many blue dots per gallon. Okay, we're going to do it the same way we did it before. So two blue dots is for one pint because they gave that to us. So that means how many 
is to 8 pints. Again, we use the conversion that we got at the other screen right over here. Okay, so we're going to do the cross product. We get x, right, is uh, 2 times 16. Uh, sorry, 2 times 8, and that gives us 16. Okay, since it was per gallon, which was the 8 pints, and we're trying to shoot for 50 gallons, again, we need to do 16 times 50. Okay, that should leap out at you, that's 800, but if not, do the multiplication. 0, 6 times 3 is 0, 3, and we get the 800. If you didn't know, again, do it backwards, upside down, double check it. We get 0, 6 times 3 is 30. 1 times that is 0, 5, and we get 800. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. So this is testing um, ratios in different ways, depending on how you did it, it's testing proportions. Um, remember again, I'm solving these multiple ways. Uh, you could have just done the answer on the blue or just did the answer on the red. We're exploring things. We're not just answering questions, we're exploring questions. I'm trying to get into uh, concepts and uh, numeracy and other aspects like that. Okay. Um, this is the last question of this uh, little group here. Uh, I'm going to move on to grade 7, I believe, after this. After, uh, no, actually, there's, there's another one after this, so I'm not going to move on to grade 7 just yet. Um, please like the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please share. Uh, you can email me. My email is at the bottom, gregstutoringnyc at gmail.com. The website that has a link to dozens and dozens of these uh, is gregstutoringnyc.com slash hardest dash math. The channel, um, this channel has hundreds of other videos, mainly centric on the SHSAT, but also other exams and other math, including ELA and so on. Um, have a great day. Live long and prosper.